Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to use the SNES emulator for your PS3. This will allow you to play classics from your childhood like Super Mario World. So I'm going to show you how to get it and then how to load any ROMs you want. So basically, the first thing you want to do is download the two download links in the description. Um, all you really need is the, um, the emulator itself, but I'm also including Super Mario World um, because it's an awesome game. Um, but you can have as many ROMs as you want. So, first download the emulator, it's right here. And then also download this. Alright, so this is done downloading. Now go ahead and get your uh, USB. And we're going to put the emulator on the root of our USB. So here's the USB. And I've already put it on here before, but I'm going to delete it. And uh, just put it on there. You don't want to put it inside any folder because we're going to install it just like any other homebrew or package files. Alright, so once that's done, plug the USB in the right hand slot of your PS3 and I'll meet you there. Okay, so once the USB is inside your PS3, um, again the right hand slot, scroll up to install package files, and simply click X on the emulator. Okay, once it's done, you can go back. Um, and now, minimize this and go inside FileZilla. Alright, so in FileZilla, go ahead and type, your, type in your PS3's IP. Since I'm on DEX, it says it right here. So mine's 192.168.2.6. It's already remembered in FileZilla because I've done it before. But otherwise, here, I'll just type it in anyway. 192.168.2.6 and click Quick Connect. Okay, now click on the directory dev underscore hdd0, then I'll click on game in lower caps. Scroll all the way to the bottom, um, or at least it, that's where it is for me. It should say SNES 90,000. Click on that. This is what you get after you install the emulator. Go inside USR DIR, go inside ROMs, and now you can minimize this and find the ROM that you downloaded. Um, so mine's called Super Mario World USA. If you download that too, you'll have this too. Um, so just take this and uh, drag it straight inside there. So um, another thing you might want to keep in mind is that these ROMs um, are uh, SFC files. So if you want to find a ROM, um, make sure it says SFC. Okay. So there it is. So once it's in there. Um, go back to your PS3 and scroll down to the emulator. Uh, just open it up. Alright, so once you're inside it, uh, go ahead and click select. And then with R1, you're going to scroll to the right all the way to path. If I went too far, I'll click L1 to go back. Alright, so there we go, we're in path. Um, now we're going to click Startup ROM Directory, so click, click X on that. Scroll down to dev underscore hd0. We're basically going to go to the same exact place as we want to in FileZilla. Whoops. Sorry, my uh, Hopage, Hopog um, has a delay, so it's a little bit hard for me to control. But scroll down to Game in lower caps. Scroll down to SNES 90,000. Click USR DIR. Scroll down to ROMs. And just click ROMs. There we go. Now click Triangle. Uh, and we're going to restart the emulator. So just click Quick Game. Yes. Now go back into it. Once you're inside it, scroll down to ROMs. And 
and then select the ROM that you want to use. So in my case, Super Mario World USA. So click X on it, and the game will load. There we go. Alright, and um, then you can just figure out how to play it. Um, There we go, I just cleared the level, cool, that was pretty fun. So, just go ahead and mess around with this. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. Um, and again, thanks for watching, um, I'll see you next time.